we want to urge each and every Kenyan, especially the young people who have gotten their ID, to be able to register as voters to decide the destiny of this republic. Uh, unfortunately or allegedly, we have had information that the national printer that is used to produce national identity card, uh, sometimes late last year and early this year, has been on a breakdown. And therefore, we would really ask the registrations of person department under the Ministry of Interior National Coordination to come clean and tell the country uh, the status of production of national identity cards uh, to, the, to the young people. Because we have had several complaints where young people cannot get the, the ID cards. And we, we want to ask the IBC to use the waiting card that is being uh, uh, that is being issued to young people so that they can be able to register uh, as voters because we are aware they would really need the original identity card. But with the challenges of acquiring a national ID card and taking some time, up to three weeks, we would request that the IEBC, one, allow the use of a uh, waiting card uh, for the young people so that they can register as voters. And number two is to ensure that they send enough KIMS kits that are being used to register voters equally in all 290 constituencies for seven counties. So we wouldn't want to see, and I don't want to name counties, that have received the highest number of KIMS as opposed to other counties. We really urge equality and equity. We don't want to see other counties and constituencies complaining that they have fewer KIMS kits that are used to register voters. Uh, and therefore, we really want. And then uh, the third point I want to make, as you are aware, no drift, um, unlike Kipia, and part of Baringo is experiencing insecurity. We want to urge IEBC and the Ministry of Interior to come up with an innovative way, especially since like Ipia insecurity, we have incidences in Baringo and Elgeo Marakwet County. That area is, uh, that belt is having a problem with insecurity. The IEBC must tell us the strategies they are put in place to ensure people who have been displaced and people who are moving around with animals, the nomads, are able to register as voters because with the current security situation, they must come up with a way of ensuring that they access. Uh, on the northern frontier of this country, as you are aware, there is an ongoing drought and famine in that area. Uh, you know families are moving, uh, search of water and uh, f uh, pasture for their livestock. We expect the IEBC and the government to provide uh, food and set up camps or mobile, uh, mobile vehicles or mobile, uh, mobile clinics or mobile registration booths should be sent to Northern Frontier so that people who are moving in search of famine and f in search of food and water because of the biting drought in the Northern Kenya can be, can be able to register through mobile registration booths by the IEBC. And also in the areas that, uh, such areas, uh, uh, areas that uh, slum areas and uh, many areas that uh, in, in the city and across many cities, we have challenge of many people going to hustle during the day, but at night they are more in the, in the house. So we want to really allow that IBC should be given uh, some time during curfew hours to register, especially from low income areas like uh, many slum dwellers go hustle during the day in the stroll area and many other in the cities across the country, but you find most people indoors in the evening. So we need IBC to use the curfew hours in, in coordination with National Interior to register more uh, Kenyans. And finally, we are aware that there are Kenyans in abroad. Uh, we want to request the IBC in liaison with the embassies that are there across the, 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 the wall to liaise with Kenyans associations. You know, when you go abroad and diaspora, you get there are many Kenyans associations. We really want to, them to liaise with Kenyan communities so that they can mobilize on how they can register because we want Kenyans who are in diaspora to be part and parcel of the process of, uh, of ensuring that they register going into the future. Uh, finally, is that uh, I have seen the, 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 the Minister of uh, Health has indicated that the curfew and banning of public gathering. I don't know how it will work since the IBC also is mobilizing people to come out in large numbers. Although we expect them to observe the COVID protocols, but it will be a big challenge especially with this issue of uh, public gatherings and what have you. So for, for, and I want to ask all presidential candidates to, 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 to join in the clarion call of ensuring and all of us politicians to let our people come out and register in numbers. The winning of an election 
is done through this registration of voters. Elections will not be won in any other forum, but by ensuring that many voters are, 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 go, are, are able to turn out. And uh, we expect the National Assembly, if IBC will require more resources under the supplementary budget to be given more resources to ensure more than 6 million Kenyans are ready for the general election. And we expect IBC to be also ready. We have seen their timelines. The, the election should be done in August and envisaged by the Constitution. We don't expect any challenges. They need resources. We need them to focus. The eyes should be on the ball. And we expect the IBC, the way it's constituted and the human resource it has, it should be able to move very quickly and ensure that they register young people, people living with disability. We have also, and I hope IBC has put in place, you remember there are people who do not have thumbprint. Uh, the, the disability, people who are having, uh, the, those people who can, their prints cannot be taken. Uh, the IBC should put in place people living with disability, they have challenges of using their biometrics. So we expect the IBC, even in the village, to have a proper way of taking biometric statistics of disabled people.